What is going on guys? It's your boy Trent back with another video today. Have a very special guest on the channel, Mr. Justin Campbell. Uh, pitcher, DH, the man who did it himself at all, but uh, guy from Oklahoma State. And uh, Justin, welcome in and uh, really appreciate you doing this, man. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me here. Okay, so yeah, first, I'm just going to you kind of tell your name, uh, where you're from, positions, uh, you play, just kind of tell whatever you want to share with the people. Absolutely. So um, I'm originally from Southern California, a small town called Simi Valley, California. Um, you know, before coming to Oklahoma State, I was committed to Tulane, and then something happened with the administration not allowing me to enter their school. So I had to release my NLI, and then a few days later, or a few weeks later after that, um, Rob Walton, our pitching coach here, calls me down for a visit at Stillwater. And on the last day, I, I just had to commit. There's no other option. And uh, man, it's just a firm believer in everything happens for a reason, and it sure did. Yeah, okay, I got you. Uh, okay, so when did you start playing baseball as a kid? Uh, I probably started at the age of three to four years old, and then I just loved the sport so much, I just couldn't put the ball or bat down. Um, but I will say uh, the past year I had to put the bat down because I just don't really have as much intent um, hitting as I as I normally do. And um, yeah. just becoming a pitcher has just helped me uh, maintain my weight and honestly helped me gain some velo too. Okay, I got you. Okay, so when did you start uh, – when were colleges in, interested in you? Uh, was it around like middle school, high school age? Uh, when did you start getting some offers in high school? Uh, I want to say – from freshman and sophomore year of high school, I got some uh, some interest from colleges. And then um, sophomore year going into junior year, I had uh, a surge on my right shoulder. Um, I need to get one anchor in my labrum. And uh, after that, man, there was no interest in me. And then my senior year, I started to pitch again and uh, interest level started to increase again. And um, that's, where, that's where it kicked off from there. Okay, I got you. Now, you mentioned you was uh, to, committed to Tulane and then went to Oklahoma State. Um, did you know, like, did you want to stay? Like, did you, was you wanting to get out of California, go somewhere else? Or what was the reason you came down south? So, originally, I never wanted to stay on the coast to play ball. I wanted to get out, see some better okay. competition, and, um, yeah, I could kind of land in the right spot in Oklahoma State. Okay, I got you. Okay, so now I have to ask you, man, uh, what has been your favorite memory at Oklahoma State so far? Uh, I got to say the no-hitter. Um, oh, yeah, going versus Kansas, Kansas throwing, last year. Throwing the no-hitter was pretty special. Yeah, that's pretty cool for sure. Uh, there's not many pitchers they, they can say can do that. So. <laughs> no, it was, it was a pretty awesome moment, and I'll cherish that forever. Yeah, I got you. Um, okay, so next question I have for you is, now what was it like playing for Coach uh, Josh Holiday so far? It's awesome. He's a great coach. He brings energy to the field, and he's just a great mentor, especially going along with Robin Ventura, Rob Walton, uh, jo or Matt Holliday, uh, Victor Romero, and Justin Seeley. Um, it's just an awesome coaching staff to, to be along with. Okay, I got you. Okay, so next question I have for you is, um, who is the hardest hitter you have faced so far? Oh, uh, man, on, on our team will be – uh jake thompson for sure um, okay he just, yeah. he just knows how to find the barrel on the on the ball at all at every you know count um he, he'll get on base every game you know he's just a um he's just a threat at the plate and i uh, mean out, outside of my team i'd have to go with um jace young at texas tech and Ivan okay Melendez yeah i know texas. you're talking about yeah he's pretty good too uh okay so that question i have for you is um if there's okay, talking about all the teams you have not played yet, uh, wh who do you want to play and what stadium do you want to visit? Oh, I want to say, um, Ole Miss for sure. Going to that ballpark would be pretty Ooh, cool. Hey, um, Th this is kind of funny you mentioned Ole Miss because I'm not your Ole Miss fan. We didn't even talk about this before we started. I'm an Ole Miss fan. Live about 45 minutes uh -huh. away from Ole Miss. There you and, go. Uh, Swayze, I mean, you've never been to Swayze before, but uh, Swayze mm -hmm. Field, it's, it, it's pretty cool, man. If you've never been to it, you just understand it. So, 
uh, it is a place I wish everybody could visit, check out, and experience for sure one day. So, absolutely, just seeing it on TV and you know seeing the the beer shower after every home run, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's uh, we're uh, we're different for sure. So <laughs> we're different for sure. It is uh, it is something I wish everybody could experience for sure. Um, yeah, definitely one of the best college baseball experiences in the country mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, okay, so next question I have for you is now last year uh, you was on Team USA. So what was that whole entire experience like uh, playing with some of the best college baseball players in the whole entire country, just traveling to different ballparks? Uh, what was the whole experience like for you? It's humbling. Um, you, you know, you, you get to be put on a very unique team, um, being chosen for to be put on one of the best college teams, um, especially playing for your country means everything. And uh, it's hard to put into words, but meeting new guys all across the country, meeting the best ball players across the country, it's something else. And um, it's an experience that I'll never forget. Yeah, I got you. Um, now, have you played with any of the Ole Miss players? I played team? with uh, Jacob Gonzalez. Okay, that's what um, I think. I think you played with Washburn too, I think. Washburn, well, I was trying to – um, re- kind of recruit him to come to o- OSU too, and uh, Dunhurst. Okay, yeah, yeah, I knew you're talking about. Yeah, all them, all them pretty good players. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, now I do have a couple just little funny uh questions. Just kind of, I just want to see how you're going to answer these questions. Um, so who's the funniest player on the team? Oh, I go, I go, with Big Griff. Griffin Dorshing uh, kind of looks like the, the Viking looking dude, our first baseman. He, he's okay, hilarious, yeah. man. Okay. Um, next question I have for you is what teammate would you not let date your daughter? Oh, man. Oh, I'm trying to think here for a second. Um, yeah, who's just someone you just don't trust at all? Shoot. <laughs> Uh, I might get back. I might get stabbed when I'm sleeping at night. But I go with my roommate Bryce Hossman. I wouldn't let him date my. If I had a sister, definitely wouldn't date. Why? Why him? Ah, man, I don't know. It, it's uh, some behind the scenes stuff that you can't really trust. About. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, we. I ain't gonna ask no questions. Uh, okay. So next question I have for you is: Now, for you as a pitcher, I mean, you've also hit before in the past as well. Um. If there's one pitcher you could ever face and one hitter you could ever face, who would you pick? Is that in just college or in well, co- yeah, college or pro? Is any baseball player of all time, past or present? Oh, uh, I would want to want to pitch against. Uh, who do I want to pitch against? Oh, uh, I want to pitch against Trout. That'd be pretty special. Oh, okay, yeah, um, I can see that. Who do I want to face against? Uh, I want to face against Gagne. If, uh, if that obviously won't happen, but, you know, being a Dodger fan, watching Gagne, being one of the best clo- – or, yeah, probably one of the best closers um, to play in the game, that would be pretty cool too. Yeah, okay, I got you. Uh, okay, so next question I have for you is, if you could travel anywhere across the country, where would it be? Hmm. I go to Hawaii. That'd be a pretty cool place to be. I'm a, I love, you know, being on the coast, loving the water. Um, I boogie board back home, and you know, that'd be pretty cool to ride some waves in Hawaii. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, okay, I think that is all the questions I have for you. So, uh, hey, really appreciate you doing this, man. It means a lot. So. Thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate you being on, having me on your show, man. It's awesome.